people on YouTube. This is Caffeine Jedi. I'm going completely dark now. Mm. Ah, there we are. Now you can see me better in the light, which is reflecting off of the mirror over there. You can't see that. You can see all my pimples, though. Mm. Oh, well. So, uh, people of the internet, what has been troubling me? No, it's not really troubling me, but I definitely am thinking about it. I've been trying to write comedy because um, I'm doing some shorts, which are going to be prequels to my web series, and we're writing those up now, and I've been working on them all day and yesterday and a couple other days, and I've also been writing other stuff. And I started to think to myself how difficult it is to write comedy, so much more than drama, especially for the internet. Um, that being that I was thinking to myself how most modern comedy um, uses a lot of pop... Most modern comedy uses a lot of pop culture references in some way or another. I was thinking to myself, um, so I'm going online and I'm like, okay, what do I look at that's typically funny? Like, let, let me get some inspiration. You know, if I watch some funny stuff, then I'll laugh and it'll get me in the mood. And you go online and all you see essentially, which I find funny, are like some kind of review of something, which is automatically pop culture reference, very dated, which is the issue when it comes to writing things. It's going to date them if you use certain references very well. And um, it just is unbelievably, you know, tricky, tricky to find uh, the right balance of uh basically references if you're going to use any or if you're not to not make it overly slapsticky because nobody likes that anymore and it's too like old school and da 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 and it just made me just think about it a lot I, I know it sounds quite strange but I'm sorry about the shaky cam this is me just really like um but it just had my brain kind of jogging trying to figure out how exactly I'm going to balance things out. Especially when you're writing anything in film, which gets fucking... Well, actually, for me, I did things fairly quickly from script to shooting to, like, actual thing done. Um, it was significantly quicker than most people do it. Uh, but still, you know, it's just because if I write something now and it's not released until, like, April or May or June or July, um, I want it to still seem relevant or humorous in some aspect or another, and it's just really hard. Uh, because I feel like to write comedy, you have to be very, very happy, in like a happy state of mind. And that's not what I mean, like you have to be like joyful and positive constantly, that's usually not what I mean. What I mean is that you have to just be in the right moment. And I always hear people talk about what inspires them to do this and that and write that. Um, and people, like, <sighs> drugs, alcohol, I guess, being the two big ones, but, um, I don't want to do that for many reasons. <sighs> too much alcohol makes me sick anyway, and too much stuff makes me very unproductive. So, I would love to just go for walks around, because I know that, like, oh, just people watch is a big thing, except I have a broken foot, and it's hard just to walk around places, and... It's a Sunday, and I'm totally not a social person, and essentially what I'm going to do is just find the right people to eavesdrop, and then just be like, yeah, perfect, I'm going to use this. But, you know, not everyone you meet is very interesting, so you also have to find interesting people. Anyway, that's a stupid rant for today. See ya.